Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar, and this is Big Discussions 76, my original channel. First of all, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe. Um, well, since I split uh, my channels off, or should I say out, I've been giving an opening spiel <clears throat> in terms of what I do over here now, and I'll just say for this one, uh, it's uh, general topics. And I was actually thinking about um, the next video to create and upload here, and it was going to be a bit, um, a little bit in the business realm, um, and uh, regarding a discussion me and a former coworker had. But something interesting came through my smartphone uh, this morning and I think that it's worth discussing uh, in a video uh, and it has to deal with uh, current events. So I'm going to um, give a disclaimer here. Uh, I politically, and I've said this in my video content, I am an independent, so I am not allied to either party. And it just so turns out that this article comes from Fox News. So as I read this and as I capture this, I'm not giving, you know, the thumbs up to Fox News or I'm not forsaking CNN or MSNBC. I'm actually a proponent of um, independent media and independent thought. And once again, politically, I am an independent. But the subject of this, I thought, was um, I think is worth covering. So I'm going to jump in here. The article is entitled Former NFL Player Marcellus Wiley Rips Black Lives Matter After It Removes Page on Disrupting a Nuclear Family Structure. And this is this is significant. Well, Marcellus Wiley used to play for my hometown Buffalo Bills, but um, Marcellus Wiley, uh, of what I know of him, he's a family man. Uh, he's from, I believe he's from uh, the inner cities of Los Angeles. Uh, and he went to an Ivy League school and then went to the NFL. And uh, now uh, I believe he's teamed up with Jason Whitlock. A lot of folks don't like Jason Whitlock. Um, but he's very, very outspoken about being a patriarch. And he's very, very outspoken about being a, a family man. Uh, which, and some would argue that these are conservative values. And so, uh, you know, since George Floyd was murdered on camera, and now with this Breonna Taylor uh, decision, um, you know, Ahmed Arbery, those kinds of things, Black Lives Matter has gained steam. And it's been question what their true intentions are and many people have read over their um, their manifesto or their description and there are some things there or there were some things there that uh, were against the nuclear family so having a mother and a father in a home raising uh, children and today those are arguably considered conservative values so this is a, a lot about culture and it's a lot about the upcoming election and it's a lot about you know social engineering and it's a lot about you know there are while this this movement this black lives matter movement is being uh it's out in the forefront now and it's being highly touted the question is what does black lives matter really stand for and a, a quick story before i jump in here at my condo complex, uh, literally across the parking lot from where I live, someone um, was hanging a Black Lives Matter flag over their balcony. I don't think these people are black, but my condo association <laughs> sent uh, a letter out saying that they don't want anyone hanging any types of political uh, paraphernalia or any types of flags like that, they don't want those displayed for everyone else to see. 
uh, because there's a fear that, you know, with, with today's climate and with how volatile um, and how charged things are, uh, they don't want that in the community. And I agree. Um, and I can still see when I look out uh, the window of my guest bedroom, I can still see that flag sitting on the person's uh, balcony, but they don't have it draped over. So, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into the article now. So under the title, uh, there's a quote, I uh, heard too many people tell me that I was wrong for misinterpreting BLM's mission statement, and I took their words out of context, Wiley tweeted on Monday. So this article is written by Daniel uh, Canova, uh, and it's dated, well, it's dated, re oh, published 16 hours ago, so this is fairly recent, okay. Marcellus Wiley, a former NFL defensive lineman and current member of Fox Sports 1's Speak for Yourself, unleashed on the Black Lives Matter movement after the group removed a page from its site that reprimanded Western prescribed nuclear family structure. Um, and then there's a quote here, uh, the same quote from above heard too many people tell me that I was wrong for misinterpreting BLM's mission statement and I took their words out of context while he tweeted on Monday and I'm going to leave this article uh, in the description box below so um, here they they screenshotted um, Marcellus Wiley's tweet and I went back on Twitter and I actually I actually followed Marcellus Wiley because I, I I'm standing with him in this and uh, the tweet is still up. Twitter didn't take it down. Uh, and in the tweet are the words, the, the quote that I just read. But also, there's an, in this tweet, there's the article from Yahoo News, which reads, Black Lives Matter removes language about uh, disrupting the nuclear family from website. Okay. And then there's a, uh, a tweet from Marcellus earlier, um, from Speak for Yourself, um, where it says, at Marcellus Wiley breaks down why the NBA's plan to paint Black Lives Matter on its court is a bad idea. So Marcellus has been outspoken about Black Lives Matter for <laughs> a while now. Um, let's see. So the tweet also, underneath all of it, it said, you are saying, with three question marks, hashtag, Facts over feelings, hashtag apology accepted. Wiley said in a tweet with a video from June of him stating why it was a bad idea for the NBA to paint Black Lives Matter on their courts. By the way, over on my sports channel, one of my subscribers said uh, underneath one of my um, NBA playoff videos, he said, hey, uh, your viewership for some of these videos might be down because me and some other people are boycotting sports right now. And I asked the person, well, first of all, I said to him, first of all, please don't unsub, but why are you boycotting? He said, well, we're tired of seeing politics in sports and we're tired of seeing all this social justice imaging in our sports. We just want to watch sports. That That's an aside. Wiley added, Seems some have forgotten I navigated from the bottom of the system. I planned and worked to succeed by any means, whether by using my brain or my body. Blessed to be blessed to be an example of how important a nuclear family is to reaching your full potential. My experience is my expertise. Uh, and then, um, in the video from June, Wiley ripped Black Lives Matter for the now deleted mission statement. Uh, let's see. So uh, apparently Black Lives Matter, they heard pushback about that particular part of their mission statement. They said, they said, okay, we gotta take this down. Uh, or whoever is in charge said, we have to take it down. So Wiley says, two things. My family structure is so vitally important to me not only the one I grew up in, but the one I am trying to uh, create right now. Being a father and a husband 
that's my mission in life right now. How do I reconcile that with this mission statement that says, we dismantle the patriarchal practice. We disrupt Western prescribed, we disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement. Wiley continued, children from single parent homes versus two parent homes. The children from the single parent homes, this was in 1995, I was reading this, five times more likely to commit suicide, six times more likely to be in poverty, nine times more likely to drop out of high school, 10 times more likely to abuse uh, chemical substances, 14 times more likely to commit rape, 20 times more likely to end up in prison, and 32 times more likely to run away from home. In 2020, white supremacy is the mission, Wiley added. That's a lot of digging through minutia right there. I'm on a show that I'm hosting with another black guy who was hosting with me who replaced another black guy. And that's just one example of it. So I understand. I respect your space. I respect what you're protesting for. But will you respect others who do not support that same protest? That's the end of the article. I'm going to leave this in the description box below, but I think that it captures what uh, a lot of us are feeling right now. I'm not a father right now, um, but there are a lot of men looking around at this stuff and saying, well, uh, you know, if I'm going to have children, if I'm going to start a family, you know, is it going to be an intact family? And am I going to be able to raise my children in a two parent home? Or is my wife or the woman who bears the children are we going to be at each other fighting from uh, the start? Um, and that's, uh, am I going to be put on child support? Am I going to be um, separated from my children? And I can think back to my, my own father who said that that was one of the worst things that ever happened to him. That is being separated from us and having uh, watching my mother take us away to another city. I'm sharing a lot of personal information here, but... I think that goes to show how much, how important this discussion is. So while certain agendas are being pushed, it seems that other agendas are being pushed secretly um, under the rug as these other agendas are being pushed. So, and that's why over on my entertainment and media channel, I thought it was important to shoot something on Tommy Sotomayor's uh, A Fatherless America because this is a real thing. There are a lot of men who are looking and saying, hey, uh, this is not a good deal for us. This is not a good environment for us to start families. So I'm going to stop this here. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like this video. Please share it. And please subscribe to my channel. And as always, remember... Uh, that your attitude determines your altitude. Thank you, Marcellus Wiley, for your uh, courageous stance on these things. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.